Hello, my name is Rachel and I love coffee and I'm so excited to bring you guys today's video. Uh, I am, this is another sponsored video, so they did send me these products free in exchange for my review, but this is something a little different. This is actually coffee. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a little bit about the company and then I'm going to show you what they did send me and then something we haven't done in a long while. We're going to uh, go to the kitchen and I'm actually going to brew up a cup of coffee and we're going to, to see how it tastes and I'll give you a first impressions review of the coffee itself. So first let me tell you a little bit about the brand. Uh, Gothrider, they are a, a small business. They're out of Canada and I believe they started as an apparel company. Uh, uh, in 2015, they started as an apparel company, but then in 2020, they added coffee to their lineup. And as you can tell from the name of the company, Goth Rider, they have a you know edgy, rebellious, gothic biker type aesthetic, and they just have the coolest artwork. I love the artwork that they put on not only their bags of coffee, but they also sell mugs and, like I said, clothing. So they have a whole line of like t-shirts and tank tops and sweatshirts with just really awesome art and fun little you know quips on it and now that they sell coffee a lot of them you know talk about coffee <laughs> you know things like uh you know skeletons with i'm not alive till i have my coffee or stuff like that <laughs> so it's a really cool brand and I'm, I'm really excited that uh to be able to share this with you guys today so let me show you what they did send and then we'll go from there okay so they did send me two of their coffees and they do uh, create seasonal coffees as well, but the two coffees that I got are from their, what would be their, I guess, just uh, main line of coffee. But they do also offer holiday flavors of coffee. I, I saw uh, a Christmas coffee on there, Christmas themed coffee, uh, Easter Bunny themed coffee, a Halloween themed coffee. So they do offer different flavors, but I just have the two regular coffees. I don't think there's anything added as far as flavors go in these. They do also sell, not only do they sell them already ground, you can also buy beans if you prefer to grind your own coffee, and they also do the little Keurig cups. So just about any way that you take your coffee or like like to receive your coffee, they can probably provide that for you. But let me just show you what uh, the coffees they did send me. So they did send me this one, which is their gasoline, and it's a 100%, I can never say this word right, Arabica coffee. <laughs> And let me just read you what it says on the back of this. Brave enough to dare. <laughs> Gothrider gasoline coffee is for those who crave a more intense caffeine experience. This Italian roast blend holds nothing back and delivers a unique flavor that only Gothrider Coffee Company can provide. If you're looking for a strong coffee that's also rich and smooth, we've got the perfect stash for you. Ethically sourced, our beans are grown under a scorching sun that helps them develop the enzymes required to rank amongst the most robust coffees cultivated at this time. Ignite your soul with Gothrider gasoline coffee. And uh, I believe that they did mention that uh, one of the, the you know, perks of their coffee is it does have like three times more caffeine than regular coffees. So that's that's kind of exciting. But that is, this is the gasoline. And they also sent me grease. And uh, also 100% Arabica coffee. Uh, this one, I'm going to read you just the top bit of this blurb because the bottom is the same. <laughs> Gothrider Grease Coffee is for those who crave an off-the-chain experience. <laughs> That's interesting. I'm excited for that. This Neapolitan Roast Blend holds nothing back and delivers a unique flavor that will make you travel and that only Gothrider Coffee Company can provide. So <laughs> this is probably the one that we are going to try today because I'm really looking for that off-the-chain experience. <laughs> so I'm excited for that. And, and they have the little like breathing hole there and so I can ah smells good <laughs> they also sent me a couple bumper stickers because you know the art is just awesome <laughs> so th those are really cool I do like those a lot and they sent me a mug which I've I haven't looked at yet but I did want to get it ready here so I did open it up a little ah so it has the Gothrider gasoline logo on it. That's a really nice mug and it does have the graphic on both sides. 
and it is black on the inside so that is a nice little ceramic mug and I did see on their site they also sell a black skull mug which is so cool and they sell bundles so you can get a deal by buying like a coffee and a mug <laughs> and and they probably have like bundles that also include like the the stickers and maybe even ones with uh, t-shirts I didn't look that far uh, through the bundles but because uh, I was just I was stuck on the one with the uh, the skull mug I'm, you guys know I'm obsessed with like skulls and all that sort of thing <laughs> so I absolutely love this art but I do really like that skull mug <laughs> So that is everything that they sent me. So next we uh, will move out to the kitchen and we're going to brew ourselves up a cup of grease. Welcome back to my kitchen, guys. I know we haven't done any cooking videos in a long time. I'm hoping to change that soon. I'm hoping to do a few more cooking videos in the near future. Um, but I have everything set up here to make our cup of coffee. I've got my pot ready to boil my water. Let me actually turn the stove on. Um, I don't actually have a coffee maker. I make my coffee in this little French press. So that's what we'll be using today. And we are doing the grease coffee. Open this up. Mm. And this is my one tablespoon because that's what I normally use with my French press when I'm making coffee. One tablespoon of coffee. A little bit heaping. <laughs> I'm just going to dump that in there and we'll be right back when the water boils. My water has boiled. I have put it in my little French press and we are just going to let that sit for about five, six minutes and then I will be right back and we will get our coffee out of here. See you in a moment. Okay guys, so it has been roughly, I think six minutes. Uh, we are going to Press the coffee. I like lots of cream, so I have some more in here. So I had to leave room for all the cream I like to use. <laughs> also, I'm a weirdo who likes to put honey in my coffee. <laughs> nice big spoon of honey. Mmm. Get that honey all nice and dissolved in there. Okay. Here we go, guys. This is, this is the taste test. Let's see. Mmm, mm-hmm. That is, that is some good coffee. It's really smooth. I was a little worried because of the extra caffeine that it might be bitter, but it's, it's really smooth. Of course, I don't drink black coffee, so I wouldn't be able to tell you like a straight up coffee flavor, but with the honey and cream, delicious. Okay, I better not guzzle this whole cup of coffee. I've already guzzled like half of it. <laughs> I'll be bouncing off the walls and, and it is like the afternoon. It's not like morning or anything. I do have to, you know, eventually wind down. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's still plenty early. I, I'm sure I'll be fine by midnight. <laughs> I say that, but I'm like, mm, maybe I'll have another one of these. <laughs> mm. That is really good coffee. Um, if you guys want to see me try the other flavor as well, or what my opinion on the other flavor, and like maybe even make two cups and compare and contrast them, let me know down in the comments below, because I can definitely do that for you. We could do maybe even a quick little video where I just, like I said, just brew two cups and one of each flavor and then give them a back and forth and see which one I personally prefer or if I can even tell a difference because I'm not the you know the most amazing coffee connoisseur I just know what I like and what I don't like and, and I like this this is good mm. okay guys that's 
that's it. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this little something different. Definitely go check out Goth Rider. I'll have all their information down in the description box below. Even if you don't like coffee, they have some really cool apparel and, and that skull mug would be awesome for tea if that's what you prefer or hot chocolate <laughs> but that skull mug is amazing i'll try to remember to put a picture up on the screen somewhere so you can can see what it looks like but thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't enjoy the video of course you can give me a thumbs down and please tell me all about it in the comments below and please subscribe to the channel and i hope everyone is just staying happy healthy and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in and i will talk to you all soon Bye bye